Hello, and welcome to Bite Sized Godot, a series covering technical aspects and development tips for the Godot game engine. I'm Bryce Dixon, a professional game programmer with over a decade of game development experience, ranging from solo projects to AAA studios. This video is going to be the first part of a mini series on printing log messages in GDScript. I was originally going to put everything into just one video, but it ended up being longer than I would like, and I want to give each of these features the attention I think they deserve. So I'm going to start with the functions print, print raw, print s, and print t. Before we get into talking about code, if you're thinking this screen is clearly not the Godot editor, you'd be right. This is GDScript Live, a website I've developed to let us run and share GDScript code snippets without worrying about creating an entire Godot project and with a lot less UI on screen so we can better focus on the code itself. Now I'll start with the function that's already on screen, print. This is the one everyone should be familiar with, but to simply put, it converts all of its arguments to strings and then prints them to the console output followed by a new line. The new line that comes after our message means that we can get a clear separation between different print calls without needing to account for it manually. And yes, I said all of its arguments. All of the functions I'm going to talk about take any number of arguments, not just one. So you don't need to worry about combining all of your variables before printing them. If we don't want that new line, we can choose to use print raw instead. However, if we look at the documentation for this function, we see that it doesn't provide output to the editor's output window, only the program's standard out in the OS's terminal. If you want to be able to print multiple messages to the editor's output window without new lines, you'll have to gather them all into one print call. Next, print s works exactly like print, but adds spaces between each argument. Similarly, print t will add tabs between each argument. I think this makes print t a pretty good option for easily printing tables of data. But I do think that if visual formatting is important, manually formatting your messages will be the better option. Being able to intentionally account for the different widths of everything being printed makes the resulting output a lot more visually consistent and I think easier to read. That all being said, I think that's going to do it for this video, so thanks for watching. If you'd like to suggest a topic for a future video, please do so at the list linked in the description.